top down. That's how the safety program has always been handled. See, government tells companies they need to have a safety program, so they push it down onto senior managers. Senior managers don't know the legislation nearly well enough, so they push it down to a safety manager. The safety manager builds a safety program and pushes the responsibility for compliance down onto the supervisors and safety officers. Those supervisors and safety people push the compliance measures down onto the frontline employees. It's a one-way, eight-lane highway of heavy trucks all heading the same way. You don't dare try to push something up the other way. You will get crushed. But what if at both the safety and supervisory levels, there was a shift in how they viewed their roles? Well, there is a shift, and here it is. Employees don't work for you. You work for them. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's compare it to the baseball manager. See, the baseball manager's job isn't to enforce baseball's rules or to field the ball, hit the ball, or run the bases. The baseball manager's job is to ensure that his players have the skills, direction, tools, and motivation to successfully field the ball, hit the ball, and run the bases. The baseball manager knows that if he can get more of his players at bat more often, he can get more swings at the ball. More swings means more hits, more hits mean more runs, more runs mean more wins, and more wins mean a championship. So, if you want to win to be more successful, you need more time standing at bat. Now, your job as supervisory and in frontline safety is to ensure that your players are in a position to win more often. Your job is to give them the skills, tools, and motivation to win, not just to barely comply, but to win as a team. Your job isn't to enforce the rules, but to build your team's performance within those rules. Baseball practices are not sessions of reviewing the rules of baseball. They're about preparing their players to win a championship. That's the job of frontline safety and supervisory. Not just to review the rules, but to improve the performance, skills, and motivation to win a championship within those rules. Employees don't work for you. You work for them. For more strategies on how to improve participation in your safety culture, read all about the M4 method in my book, People Work, The Human Touch in Workplace Safety. Available online worldwide in paperback, Kindle, and audiobook. On Amazon, iTunes, and Audible.